Hello everyone, welcome to our video how to push your application from your local machine to Azure App Service using Git command. So what we will see in this video, first we will get an overview about the demo workflow. This will give you a visualization of the demo steps which help you better understanding of the demo. Then we will go for the demo. But first let me give you a quick introduction about myself. My name is Mohammed Radwan. I'm a developer technologies MVP and principal DevOps consultant. I have been doing software development for more than 15 years now, working on several projects for different enterprise customers across different regions and countries. I heavily participated in the community, developed several frameworks, presented many sessions, holding various certificates for Azure and DevOps. I started back in 2002 as a classic ASB developer relocated multiple times in multiple countries, worked with several technologies and for different roles and positions. And for the last eight years, I moved to consultancy-based role where I focused more on helping different companies, some of them from the Fortune 500 to improve their software development and delivery using DevOps and automation. I have developed and authored several frameworks, command line tools and guides you can find them on GitHub and Azure DevOps Marketplace. I like to share my experience. This is why I have a YouTube channel and blog where they have hundreds of videos and posts that share different topics from my real experience. I have presented many sessions in several user group, conferences, events, and customer sites as well in different countries. So I got the chance and the opportunity to work in different culture, project size, and company size as well, which helped me to have different experience. Here some links for my activities. So we will start the demo with a machine that has a git bash installed. This could be a Windows or Linux machine. In my case, I will use Windows 10 machine. After that, I will create the main resource group that will hold all the rest of the resources. So I will start by creating a deployment user. This user will be required to authenticate me so I can push my application to the app service. Then I will create the app service plan. Think of app service plan is like the infrastructure for the web app. In my case, I will use Linux container with basic plan one, which is free trial for the first 30 days. Then I will create a web app using this service plan. And part of this creating web app is a Git deployment enabled, which will give me a URL for the Git so I can push my code to that URL. After that, I will push my code to that web app using the, the Git URL and it will ask me for the authenticate. Then I will give the username and the password for the deployment user I created earlier. And then in this case, I can run my application from the web app. So let's go for the demo, can deploy our application to the cloud. So first I will navigate to the Azure portal, open a new instance. Close this now, I don't need it. And then here I will run the cloud shell. The cloud shell is the command line on the cloud, which I can run instead of running the command from my machine, because in this case, I don't need to install any command line interface tools. So the first is, let's clear that to have a clean one. So the first is I will create the main resource group that will has all the resources of the lab. This will create. So let's navigate to the resource group, refresh. We can see that the resource group created. Let's navigate that shell again. And let's create the deployment user. I will use this user when I want to push my application to the cloud to authenticate. So just to create this user. And then I will create the service plan, which is the infrastructure for the web service using the basic tier and the Linux container. So let's navigate to the resource group to see that service plan. So we can see the service plan created and we can see also the logo of the Linux. Let's navigate back to the cloud shell and run this command, which will create the web app. So as we can see here, we're using the service plan and using 
the .NET Core for running that. So this will have the image of this container which has the .NET Core runtime. And we enable also the deployment local Git, which means that with this deployment enable, I can push the application from a Git local machine. So let's just run. So if we get up, we can see the URL of the Git. So we can copy that. Also, I can access that from the web app. Let's navigate to show you that. So if I navigate refresh first, so we can see this is the web app created. If I open that, this is the Git URL if I want to use it. And here the URL of the application. Then here I will just git add dot to commit that and then git commit adding the database connection. So this will commit local to my local git. Now adding a git remote and using the URL with the git before. Now push that to that remote repo, which is in this case is the web app. So this will push all the application. Here I will use the deployment user password. So this will push all the application to the web app on Azure. Once it's completed, as we can see, it restores the package. So all the package and also part of the code that I put it, as we can see, it doing the data migration. So let's navigate here to the application and open the URL of the app service. So as we can see now, we have the app service, the to-do list running on app service. At the end, I would like to thank you for watching the video. Please, if you have any question or comment, don't hesitate to reach out. You can find more information on my blog, which will appear at the end of the video, along with some other related video. Thank you.